this is um, the senior um, oratory, and, um, and this is Kevin here. And um, so welcome, Kevin. And a man of inspiration, a man who aspires for the freedom of the Irish people, a man who, along with others, some former foes, helped build a bridge over the troubles, the troubled waters of Northern Ireland. A man who then led the Irish people over that bridge, away from the side of the sounds of violence, to the side of the sounds of silence. A man of integrity, a man for all seasons. These are very strong claims to make. It now behoves me to prove these claims. I also, I hope that others will be encouraged to research this period and the participants of this Anglo-Irish saga. Hopefully, we'll get more orations on these events and the people involved. No doubt there will be conflicting viewpoints. Surely, we can learn from all viewpoints. Jerry Adams began working life as an apprentice barber. At the end of the day, uh, among his duties was to mop the floor and empty the ashtrays. A humble start to working life. In the late 1960s, Jerry Adams took an active interest in Sinn Féin. In 1972, under the 1922 British Special Powers Act, Jerry Adams was interned. On the insistence of the Irish Republican Army, he was released to take part in talks with the British government. In 1973, he was interned at Long Kesh, later released. In 1983, he was elected President of Sinn Féin and as a Westminster MP for the constituency of Belfast West. In 1998, he took part in the signing of the Good Friday Agreement. For so doing, he was denounced as a traitor by some former comrades. From 1998 through 2007, he worked hard for the full implementation of the 1998 Good Friday Agreement. In December 2010, he resigned his Westminster seat, and in 2011, he was elected to the Southern Irish Parliament, the DAO, for the constituency of Ruth. This is a short thumbnail sketch of the active and torturous life Jerry Adams led to lead the Irish people to freedom. During the roughest time, Jerry Adams had almost revolving door access to the White House and to Whitehall. He was on first name terms with then President of the United States of America, Bill Clinton, and the then Prime Minister of Great Britain, Tony Blair. He had the respect of their top officials. He had almost the status of an international statesman. One story I read is that one top American official, before meeting Jerry Adams, thought he was going to be meeting some wild-eyed radical. Afterwards, he said, you know, he's quite a good guy to talk to. Jerry Adams' path to international status contrasts very much with conventional path. The conventional path is to go to university, do extremely well, first class honours degree, be selected for foreign affairs, uh, work hard, and be rewarded with a plum posting at Washington, London. Jerry Adams attained the status of international statesman starting from the basis of a much lower level of formal education. Many have questioned Jerry Adams' sincerity and his desire for peace. One who wouldn't is Jonathan Powell, Tony Blair's former chief of staff and general negotiator. In his book, Great Hatred, Little Room, a quote from Yates, Jonathan Powell talks of a time in June 2004 when Jerry Adams, acting on his own initiative, came to Tony Blair and Jonathan Powell and outlined a plan for the unilateral stand down of the Irish Republican Army. According to Jonathan Powell, this came at a very important time in the discussions and proved to be the beginning of the end. The end being the signing in May 2007 of an agreement for the full implementation of the 1998 Good Friday Agreement. I believe that history will show 
that, G, that Jerry Evans taking Irish Republicanism along the path he did effectively saved Irish Republicanism. For on this path, Jerry Evans showed there was a genuine desire for peace and a withdrawal from terrorism. The reason is 9-11. 9-11 changed everything. Post 9-11, America was almost paranoid about terrorism, particularly terrorism connected with Arab ter terrorism. The Irish Republican Army had a history of connections with Arab terrorists. To be perceived as still being linked with Arab terrorism would have been disastrous for the respect for Irish republicanism within the United States of America. Within the United States of America, eight states and 15 cities have passed resolutions supporting a united Ireland. Jerry Adams, taking Irish republicanism along the path away from terrorism towards peace, meant that America did not connect Irish republicanism with, uh, with our terrorism. Now, let's look at the reasons for seeing Jerry Adams as being a man for all seasons. If I was given this oration a few years ago, I would describe these reasons as, uh, as, as shortcomings of Jerry Adams, shouldn't I? However, events over the last few years have shown that these reasons if not accepted, deserve at least to be respected. Socialism. Sinn Féin is a social party. It believes in the greatest amount of good for the greatest number. It believes that government should set social and economic goals of benefit for all, then achieve them. Sinn Féin stands in direct opposition to mainstream Western economic thinking, which is based upon individual profit maximisation the culture of more for me. This culture believes that individuals maximizing profit will, through a rising tide or invisible hand, bring prosperity to all. The reality is that over the last few years, the individual profit culture has brought pain and poverty to me. I have a BA in economics and mathematics, and like most students of economics, I accepted the words in the Economic Stage 1 textbooks on individual profit maximization. I now come to believe that those words, if carried to extreme, are probably the most dangerous words ever written. Jury and Sinn Féin have been saying this all along in the face of a great deal of opposition. Sinn Féin's opposition to the former Irish government. Sinn Féin over many years. Sinn Féin saw and said that the former Irish government was corrupt and incompetent. This is now evidenced by the scale of the current economic and social challenges facing Ireland. The sudden Irish electorate realised this at the last election, hence the very big drubbing that government got. Questioning the European Union, the idea that one size fits all. Again, events over the last few years have shown the problems of this approach. For example, the society and economy of Greece are very different to the society and economy of Germany. The social and economic challenges of those two countries must be conquered in quite different ways by their own governments. Government. Sinn Féin has survived a lot of stress. It has survived because of the support of communities, small communities. Hence, Sinn Féin tends to have a ground-up approach towards government. It believes that a democratic government is based upon democratic communities. Hopefully, therefore, in the Senate of the United States of America and the House of Representatives will, following the lead of the above eight states and 15 cities, also pass resolutions supporting the United Ireland. Jerry and Sinn Féin believe that a country, along with its communities, should be able to democratically decide their own way forward. This, of course, is in accordance with the spirit, with the spirit of the meaning of Sinn Féin. We ourselves or ourselves alone. The idea is that we ourselves within our own democratic communities, within our own democratic country, are quite capable of governing ourselves alone. This is what Jerry Adams has been working towards for Ireland for close to half a century, beginning as a grassroots worker and moving up to the president of Sinn Féin and as a member of the Irish Republican government. Jerry Adams, president of Sinn Féin, a member of the Irish Republican government, a man of inspiration, a man of integrity, 
and men for all seasons.